All right, guys. What's going on? I'm your boy, Phantom Mephisto. Well, welcome back to a brand spanking new Fatal Thoughts. And I wanted to share my thoughts about something that I heard the other day when I was on the Roundtable podcast about this rumor of four consoles going around. Now, I, I've heard, I've absolutely have heard nothing about this because uh, I haven't really been paying attention to a whole lot of shit because I've been too busy fucking gaming. Um, but with that said, um, when I heard about this, I had to do some digging. Uh, then I came across this article uh, from Windows Central. And it was talking about, uh, you know, the discless console that, of the Xbox One that's dropping next year. Uh, then it talked about the code name Anaconda and Lockhart. And then it also talked about, you know, Project X Cloud and this other service that's going to be part of the Windows 10 or Windows Core OS or something the fuck it's called, called Game Core, uh, which is supposed to help developers uh, make games a lot more easier. So that way, when they put them on PC, they're going to be like right there on 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 the uh, the Scarlet 2 as well. Um so I wanted to go ahead and dive into this a little bit because this article actually did uh, make a hell of a lot of fucking sense. Um, so, of course, the first console being the discless one. I don't know why Microsoft is doing that. I guess they're trying to throw their hat in as, like, to release one more cheaper value of the S uh, with no disk drive and be digital only. Uh, I don't know why they're doing that. My only take is, and I can somewhat agree with the actual article in question, um, is that they want to see how well it does. And if it's successful enough, maybe Microsoft might pull out the actual disk drive uh, you know, to keep the, like, the cost down efficiently for the Xbox uh, whatever the hell they're next, or the Xbox Scarlet for going into next generation for both the Lockout, Lockhart and the Anaconda codenamed, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Um, now speaking of those of those two, uh, I thought you know I thought the Lockhart was going to be like the the streaming box, and of course, and I thought the actual Anaconda was going to be the actual you know the the main the mainstream console, you know the the Scarlet. Um, actually, it turns out that's not the case apparently according to this article um is that both these consoles are equivalent to the s and the x um the and the codename anaconda is going to be equivalent to what the x is this generation not from power wise but being that more powerful console whereas the lockhart is going to be equivalent to what the xbox one s is being more of a budget console you know what i mean without that 4k push you know that the x has um not that that the x is or not like the actual scarlet S is going to have fucking not 4K, but it's not going to be as powerful as what the actual Anaconda one is kind of equivalent to what the mid-gen refresh is this, uh, this generation was. Whereas going into the next gen, these two consoles are going to be there front and center. So people that want the more powerful, expensive box can buy it, and people that want the actual budget kind but still get maybe like, you know, fucking 1080p native resolution constantly, hopefully, because performance better be a big thing next gen. Um you know, fucking be able to get the actual cheaper brand, which to me is kind of smart. I, I'm definitely, I'm, I'm okay with that. I know some people are definitely not, but yet I'm going to question that. Um, but anyways, so that's interesting. So that's technically, you know, that's three consoles right there. And then of course the streaming box. Um, real quick, I just want to give my thoughts on the streaming box. I don't think it's going to be a full-fledged uh, fucking console. I think it's going to be something equivalent to what PlayStation did with that PlayStation TV that hooks up to your TV. It's a little box, comes with a controller. I think it was like 150 bucks or something like that. Um, you just plug it in, hook up your internet, boom, there you go. Uh, and then you'll be able to do everything right then and there without having you know, to do anything else. And it ju it's just a stream little device. It's all it is. Think of it like, this, like um, uh, that's what the Steam Link was, except that it's through streaming and not through uh, um, uh, whatever the hell that fucking terminology is called there. I forget what the hell it's called. Um, you know, you can get like that fucking... Kind of, it's kind of like streaming into your to your Vita. What the hell? Is, I had the name in back of my fucking head. Give me a second. I'll find it real quick. Uh, I know it's in this article because I was looking at it earlier. Uh, let's see here. Uh, okay. Streamlined. Blah, 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 blah. I can't remember the name of it, but I'm not going to linger on that, though, because that's just going to make the video even more fucking boring. But despite that, though, um, so, yeah, so I think I think it's why a lot of people are coming out with the whole entire four console shenanigans. Um, my thoughts real quick is that the Xbox One disless fucking thing is still part of this generation, not next gen. So that does not technically count in my books. Um, I get why people would throw that in there, but I don't look at that as a count. Uh you know, if they want to come out with, like, you know, the more powerful one and, like, the, the, the not-so-powerful one right from the get-go, I'm down with that. Um, and as far as the Project Cloud thing, I don't give a fuck about that. That's mainly going to focus with the, with the whole entire mobile and tablet uh, device community-wise. Uh, of course, on their other platforms, too, PC included, but 
I'm not really giving a flying fuck about that. I don't really care about that. What I want to make sure is, though, is that, you know, physical and digital exist in the same space because I don't want to see physical ever leave because I think people have the right to buy their games physical if they so choose to. Um, if, like me, I'm digital, so, you know, I don't want to see physical fucking disappear anytime soon, uh, which is why I'm not too happy about this discless fucking thing coming up being if, if it is successful next next year when they launch it in, t in late 2019. I don't know, Microsoft, you're fucking stupid for doing that, but that's just my opinion. Um, but I wanted to share my thoughts about this whole entire shenanigans. I think a lot of people are definitely jumping the guns on this. Um, I think a lot of people are going to be relatively surprised when they see what happens next gen for Microsoft. Um, but we'll have to wait and see. You know, uh, now I know I'm going to be getting comments in the comment section. Oh, you're fucking, you're a butt, Fatal, blah, 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 all this other garbage shit when they don't even understand what the definition of a bot is. Um, or what even fucking makes somebody an ex-bot. Um, you know what I mean? Don't put me in the same fucking level of category as fucking those other dumbasses that are part of this community. I'm just sharing my thoughts on what I think of it so far, and I'm trying to be more realistic on this shit. I could be wrong. I could be completely fucking wrong. But like I said, I'm just going based on this article, and the article just makes too much fucking sense. So I'm going to put the link down in the description. Share your thoughts after you read it, and make sure you do read it. If you haven't read it, then fucking read it. If you have read it, and you still fucking... Do whatever, man. Uh, whatever, man. Fucking ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas, bah humbug, slut. All right, guys. Thank you guys for checking out this video. And until next time, I'll see you guys on the next one. Don't stay.